Here's another problem dealing with linear systems. Solve by addition. Our first equation is 5x plus 4y equals 10. Our second equation, 3x plus 5y equals negative 7. Now, if we attempt to add the equations in their present format, we will not have either variable being eliminated. So that requires us to do some work in order to get it into a format where addition will help us solve this. We have to decide whether to try to eliminate the x's or the y's. And really, it's six of one half dozen of another in this case. That means I can choose either one. I'm going to go ahead and try to eliminate our y values. I notice that we have a coefficient of four in our first equation, a coefficient of five in our second. If I'll multiply my first equation by five, that would look like this, five times 5x plus 4y equals 5 times 10. And if we multiply our second equation by a negative 4, we'll end up having the common, common multiple of 20 with opposite signs. Let's continue. We have 25x plus 20y equals 50. Let's now multiply the second equation by negative 4. We have negative 4 times 3x plus 5y equals negative 4 times negative 7. Evaluating gives us negative 12x minus 20y equals a positive 28. We're now going to take each of the equations and write them on top of one another. We're going to have 25x plus 20y equals 50. We're going to write this on top of negative 12x minus 20y equals 28. Now when we add the two equations together, we can see that our y values will end up subtracting out, which is what we need when we're using the addition method. So that's going to leave us with 13x, the y values subtract out, we add here to get 78. We're now going to divide both sides of the equation by 13 in order to solve for x. 13x divided by 13 is x, 78 divided by 13 is 6. Now we're going to back substitute. We'll take our value of x equals 6 and substitute into one of the equations. Let's just go to the first equation. We're going to have 5 multiplied times 6 plus 4y equals 10. This will give us 30 plus 4y equals 10. Subtracting 30 from both sides, 4y is going to equal negative 20. And dividing by 4 gives us y equals negative 5. That gives us a solution of 6 comma negative 5. We can substitute into the original equations in order to check. Let's do that now. We're going to have 5 multiplied times 6 plus 4 multiplied times negative 5. Let's just do this mentally. We're going to have 5 times 6 is 30 plus 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. That's going to give us then 30 plus a negative 20 which equals 10. Let's substitute into the second equation. We'll have 3 multiplied times 6 plus 5 multiplied times negative 5. Now this is going to be 18 minus 25, and we can see that that is equal to negative 7, and so it also checks, telling us that our solution is correct.